This is the food review part of the steak and poachers ale pie. You can see I've got my dinner right on my knee here. We're watching telly. Anyway, so, Mo. Is it recording? I believe it's recording. Okay, great. Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm here to do the food review of uh, the... Steak and Men poacher pie. Steak and poacher pie. Uh, we just had it and I'm completely stuffed. I've got all my notes here ready to go. Uh, so what was my impression? Um, it was a big meal. It was, well, the, the thing that killed it for me was the uh, pastry. The pastry was delicious. It was dry, crisp, and it really, uh, it, you know, uh, was nice with the gravy and the smooth mesh. The flavour was really, uh, really... Um, what did you call it? I forgot. <laughs> rustic and, uh, the rustic you could, and rich. Could you taste all the beer and the chilli yeah, and the Worcester sauce? Yeah, a little tang of chilli in there. Could have had even some more. It would have been really tasty. Um, and the, the mashed potatoes. Did you notice the uh, horseradish sauce? Horseradish and mashed potatoes. I thought that was a great idea. They were really nice and creamy, the mashed potato. Uh, uh, the other tip I've got to remember to tell you is with the carrots, and you're boiling carrots, put a, a spoonful of sugar in there, and that keeps the carrots sweet. Hmm, I didn't know anything about that, but anyway, there you go. Uh, if you were given that in a pub, would you have been quite pleased, and how much would you have paid for it, been happy to pay? Well, uh, it was sort of nice to have something homemade. You know, the pub stuff all looks the same, but this is unique every time. And Mark tells me you can put different beers in it, so you can end up with all kinds of stuff. Diff uh, um, <laughs> Um, all in all, I'd definitely pay 15 quid for it in a pub. 15 for, yeah. And that would feed a meal for a, a, a family of six for about eight pounds. I know, the value of that meal is unbelievable because you, you've got that big pie with some mashed potato, you're feeding so six, six people for eight quid. For so the vegetables. Yeah, so don't worry about the credit crunch. Just get your pastry right and you'll be doing okay. Right. Otherwise, I'll give it 10 out of 10. I don't know about the atmosphere and the... Uh, <laughs> and the starter and the pudding they were missing but nevertheless <coughs> 10 out of 10 for a brilliant brilliant main meal